Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I hope and believe that everyone is well protected in the loving arms of our loving Father. On this crucial hour and difficult situation, let us keep aside the thought of the virus and let us concentrate in God's word and let us ask these very questions to ourselves. Who is Jesus to you? Or who do you think he is? Let us see the passage from Matthew chapter 16, starting from verse 13 to 16. And it says, When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you think, or who do you say that I am? Then Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Now, this incident occurred in the coast of Caesarea. Philippi, which is 25 kilometers away from the place called Bethsaida, where Jesus Christ healed a blind man, in, which is recorded in Mark chapter 8, when we read in chapter, uh, to verse 22 to 26. And this place, Caesarea Philippi, is a very beautiful place, resided by a bacon. And in this very place, they worshipped not the Jehovah, the God of the Israel, not the Yahweh, but they worship Baal, the God of fertility. And they worshiped the idols and the man-made gods. And they even, they even dedicated a temple to Emperor Caesar, where, and they worshiped him as their Lord. This city was devoted to, to the worship of idols and man-made gods. And that is why, and this must be the reason why Jesus has chosen, uh, why Jesus chose this, uh, the, this place to reveal himself and ask these very questions to the disciples. Who do you think am I? Today I want to make a close look to our Savior's questions here in verse 15. And the question is, who do you think or who do you say I am? And when you answer these questions, this, your answer will determine how you will live in your life here. And your answer will determine where you will go when you die. And this is one of the most important questions you will ever hear or that you will ever answer. Let us consider the possible answers together as we look down this passage. When we read in verse 14 of chapter 16, their disciples replied when Jesus asked, Who do men say that I, the son of man, am. Then some of them, they say, you are John the Baptist, a holy man willing to die for his faith. And when we read in Matthew chapter 14, verse 1 to 2, even King Herod believed that Jesus is, was John the Baptist, raised from the dead. And one of them also give an answer that you are the Elijah, the greatest of all the Odi prophets. And the Jewish, they were expecting Elijah to return before the coming of Messiah. And some even believed that Jesus was the foreigner and he was not the Messiah. When we read in Mal Malachi chapter 4 verse 5, they believed, the Jews believed that Jesus will come, or sorry, Eliza will come before the coming of Messiah. And others replied that you are the Jeremiah, 
a holy prophet who was expected to return to the earth before the coming of Messiah. And they also believe that he will bring the tabernacle, the altar, the ark of the covenant, and the altar of incense which he had hidden in Mount Nebo before he died. It is recorded in, not in the Bible, but uh, found in some other books, like 2nd Maccabees chapter 2 verses 1 to 12 and 2nd Estras chapter 2 verse 18. And some also reply that he is one of the, you are one of the prophets. A man of God sent with a message for the time, or a man in whom dwell the spirit of one of the prophets. And this is what they gave an answer when Jesus asked, Who do men think that I am? And these are all the answers that they received. And in those days, not many of them, not every one of them, thought that Jesus was a great man. Some think that he is just a normal person and some even also some even thinks that he is an evil man when we read in the scripture we can find so many names given to him he was called a lowly carpenter in mark chapter 6 verse 3 he was called the son of joseph John chapter 6 verse 42 he was called a sinner John 9 24 he was called an illegitimate child John chapter 8 verse 41 he was also called a devil Matthew chapter 12 verse 24 he was also called a madman John chapter 10 verse 20 a fool and the object of contempt and scorn Matthew chapter 27 verses 38 to 43 and even his half brothers did not believe him to be the Messiah when we read in John chapter 7 verses 3 to 5 now those are the answers that we find in the days of in the time of Jesus now what do men say in this present age what do some of the groups believe who Jesus is Here are few people who mentioned about Jesus. The Jehovah Witness says he is Michael the Archangel. And not the only begotten son of God. New Heavens and New Earth, pages 30 to 31. You can refer to it there. And the Mormon says, He is the Lucifer, the son of the morning star. He is the elder brother of the Lucifer, the son of the morning star. We can find in Mormon doctrine, pages 163 to 164. And they, there, it is also recorded that Jesus was married at Cana of Galilee and had many wives and some of the, his wives names were Mary and Martha. He also had many children which is recorded in Journal of Discourse Volume 1 pages 345 to 346. And it also says that Jesus was the first baby born to God in heaven when God in a physical body had sexual intercourse in the course with Mary his own daughter he is the spirit brother of Lucifer and this is what the Mormon says and the Islam Islam says Jesus was a prophet and he was not crucified on a cross but he will return but he is not God when we read in Surah 49 verse 43 verse 59 there it says Jesus was not a prophet. Jesus was a prophet. And in Quran chapter 4, verses 158, there we find that he was not crucified on the cross. And the Hindu believe that he, Jesus, is just one of millions of gods. And when we read 
in the Jewish Encyclopedia. There it is recorded that Jesus was executed because he practiced sorcery. Sanhedrin 43a. And it is also said that Jesus is in hell being boiled in hot excrement. Griffin 57a. And the Jewish Encyclopedia pictures Jesus as a blind, blind in one eye and lame in one foot. And this is how they describe Jesus by some of the groups. Now let us see what the Bible has to say about Jesus Christ. When we read in Matthew chapter 3 verses 17 and seven, chapter 17 verse 5, it says, God the Father in heaven, notice Jesus as his beloved son. And this is what God the Father says. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. God the Father recognized him as his beloved son. And when we read the whole scripture, the Bible is filled with information about the deity, the identity of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is called the mighty God. He is called the eternal one. He is God. The, he is God called the Lord of all. He is called the Prince of Peace. He is called Wonderful Counselor. When we read in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, when we read in Micah chapter 5 verse 2, when we read in Isaiah chapter 11 verses 1 to 5, when we read in 20, Jeremiah 23 verse 5, Isaiah 53 verses 1 to 12, John chapter 1 verse 1 and 14. Let us see some of the things Jesus has to say about himself. John chapter 14 verse 9, He that had seen me had seen the Father. In John chapter 10 verse 30, I and my Father are one. In John chapter 8 verse 58, before Abraham was, I am. John chapter 14 verse 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. John chapter 6 verse 35, it says, I am the bread of life. John chapter 8 verse 12, it says, I am the light of the world. John chapter 10 verse 9, it says, I am the door. John chapter 10 verse 11, I am the good shepherd. John chapter 10 verse 36, I am the son of God. John chapter 11 verse 25, I am the resurrection and the life. John chapter 14 verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John chapter 15 verse 1, I am the true vine. And this is what Jesus has to say, has to reveal himself in the scripture. Let us also see from the hearts of other people who are recorded in the scripture. When they encountered Jesus, their life was completely changed. Let us see some of them from the passage, from the scripture. We can, we can find one in John chapter 4 verse 29. The woman at the well, the Samaritan woman. Come, see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Is not this the Christ? And when we see in Luke chapter 23 verses 39 to 43, there also we find that the dying thief said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He called him Lord. The woman at the well called him Christ, ten minded one, the Messiah. And in Mark chapter 15, verse 39, the Roman centurion says, Truly, this man was the Son of God. He knew that he is the Son of God. Now, we have heard many testimony in Bible, the disciples, and what God the Father has to say about him. Now, let us ask ourselves, who do you think Jesus is? Is he just a baby who was born in, in Chris, on Christmas Day or a guy who was crucified on Easter Sunday? Or is he the crucified and the risen Lord of your life? 
or is he a way to God just one among many or is he the way the truth and the life the only way the only truth and the only life is he a good man a great teacher and a prophet or is he the son of God and your only hope for salvation is he a liar is he a lunatic or is he your Lord what is the testimony of your heart today let's hear from the Bible one more time in John chapter 3 verse 16 Acts chapter 16 verse 31 Acts chapter 4 verse 12 Romans chapter 10 verse 13 Romans chapter 10 verse 9 here we can find that he is the son of God he was sent to the earth to save mankind where do you stand in the midst of all this who is Jesus to you is your answer giving hope in your life assurance of salvation Simon Peter got the right answer when Jesus asked the disciples who do you think or who do you say that I am he got the right answer and he said you are the Christ the son of the living God he got right because the answer had been revealed to him by the Lord right now you are asking what should I do with Jesus you may ask yourself what should I do with Jesus what will I do with Jesus but one day the question will be what will Jesus do with me today if we fail to know who he is and accept him in our hearts there will be a time when he will say to you go away from me I never knew you let us let us give the right answer as Peter did let us confess ourselves that Jesus is the Lord of all the Prince of Peace the Almighty God the Son of God who came to this earth to die for each and every one of us for sinners let us confess ourselves so that when the time comes and when we meet him face to face you will we will not be ashamed but we will be with him forever may God bless each and every one of you and make each and every one of you seek Jesus in every days of your life. God bless you all.